மக்களின் இயல்பு வாழ்க்கை பாதிக்கப்பட்டது இது ஒருபுறம் என்றால் In this era of climate change, extreme weather events such as cyclones, flash floods and severe droughts have made crop cultivation an uncertain and risky business. Rice and wheat are staples in our diet today, but these are not climate change resilient crops. Wheat is an extremely thermal sensitive crop. As the temperature increases, the yield from wheat substantially decreases. Commonly practiced rice cultivation is water intensive it aggravates the problem of climate change methane a potent climate change gas is produced due to the stagnant water in the paddy fields millets could be key to providing food security in the climate change era as they can withstand higher heat regimes and grow in poor soils in non irrigated fields India houses an estimated 25% of the world's hungry and 40% of the world's malnourished women and children. We need to ensure that all have access to sufficient food both in terms of quality and quantity. One way to do this is to reform our public distribution system. The public distribution system is a social policy of the Indian government to ensure food security. On the public distribution system the government facilitates the supply of food grains to a large number of people at a subsidized price on a regular basis through a network of ration or fair priced shops reaching out to about 160 million families india's public distribution system constitutes the world's largest food delivery system and therefore is key to ensuring food security to ensure food security millets must also be made available through public distribution system poor people who now just eat white polished rice would then be much healthier for in terms of nutrients such as proteins fiber iron minerals or micronutrients millets are superior than wheat and rice an important step was made in recent years with millets being included for distribution in the national food security act of 2013 but a lot more needs to be done in order to implement this policy decision tamil nadu has recently seen an increase in millet cultivation by promoting hybrid seeds and inputs to increase yield such initiatives like the green revolution may reap short term benefits in greater production but in the long run they will defeat the goal of food security and self sufficiency and agro biodiversity This goal of self-sufficient communities is being steadily achieved by an organization of tribal farmers in the Sitalingi Valley of Tamil Nadu thanks to the sustained efforts of two doctors Dr. Reggy and Dr. Lalita George So many of the farmers actually joined in for the uh, financial part of it but uh, our insistence was that they cannot forget their food and therefore if they so by the time they reached 50 they were uh, we formed them into a small society and said you have to govern yourself and make your own rules but there's one condition for a farmer to join the society they have to grow their own food at least part of the food uh, they have been able to join together um, uh, discuss things uh, fight together for a common issue uh, or collectively uh, Uh, buy things or collectively sell things now so that feeling of being united no so that is a nice uh, thing that is happening so now all the farmers grow their own food at least in the small patches and the rest they do cash crops because they need money also uh, so in one way there is a lot of food security because most of the farmers now have shifted to at least one meal in millets so that is a, a, a great thing and we are finding that our levels of nutrition because i go to many tribal areas and i found that our levels of nutrition are much better and the only reason i feel is that many of them are shifted back to millets and uh, millets are a wholesome diet I mean, if you take millets you almost don't have to have uh, vegetables or things like that surplus millets produced by such farmers can be channeled through a decentralized public distribution system by introducing local millets to be part of a decentralized public distribution system would open up local economic opportunities the operations of enhancing production procurement processing and distribution should be localized within a district as is done in the sitalingi valley where the farmers together 
by the equipment that they need. They economically benefit by cutting out the middleman. In Sitilingi, women have also created economic value by processing and selling millets for the urban market. India urgently needs to revisit and transform its approaches to food security for its teeming population. Instead of the poor bearing the burden of climate change, human-centered approaches that links development to the human right to nutrition are needed. Millets matter, for they safeguard the basic human right of food for all. <laughs>